Hey guys, it's Comic Guno, and today I am reviewing Ultimate Comics X-Men issue 8. So let's see what's going on with this issue. Let's talk about the cover first. Before I start, I just want to say that I love every uh, cover for the Ultimate Comics universe. All the four series or three series that are out. I don't know if Hawkeye's still out. But um, every series that's out for the Ultimate Comics X for the Ultimate Comics uh, universe really has great covers, and this is no exception. Really great cover. Love the fire. Also, there's a little clever. It has an X necklace on. I thought that was clever. So definitely great cover. And also something lure customers in. We get to see a free digital copy. I think that'll make more people want to buy this issue because you do get something free with buying the issue. But uh, let's see if uh, I like the story as much as I like the cover. So in this issue, we get to see um, these two brothers who are, are the ruler of this place called uh, Tian. It's T-I-A-N. Uh, their names, the brothers' names are Exoron and Zoron. So very close in name. I think there's only one letter difference. So uh, these people are trying to rule Tian. And uh, they have these uh, people captured in uh, their city, and their cities in the sky. And so the Ultimate X try to save these people, and they do. They end up saving them. So um, Nick Fury uh, is having a conversation with the heads of the mutant department, whose name is something, I think Victoria Cooper or Val Cooper, let me say, uh, Val Cooper. And uh, Nick Fury has a conversation with her because she says, I think Karen Grant is dangerous. And um, Nick Fury says, you know what, I don't think she is dangerous. I think she's our secret weapon. I think she's a very strong telepath, and she could really help us. And he, Nick Fury doesn't even think this whole entire world is real. He doesn't know what's real, what's fake, and he just knows that Karen Grant could really help him. So uh, Val Cooper says whatever, and uh, Karen Grant actually comes in and says, yeah, you know what, I am a powerful telepath, and uh, you should trust me. So Val Cooper is like, you're on your own. <laughs> so... We get to see that Karen uh, actually is someone who betrays Nick Fury. Well, Nick Fury doesn't know this yet. But Val Cooper was right because Karen is a double agent for uh, the Teon Empire or world or whatever, the city in the sky. Because she goes to um, one of the brothers and says, uh, you know, pretty much what she's been doing with Nick Fury. And they're planning against Nick Fury. And uh, so really, Karen Grant is betraying Nick Fury. And she is a double agent. So definitely was a twist in the end. I really enjoyed that twist. Even though I don't read Ultimate Comics Ultimate, which I think is... Uh, uh, from the story is from Ultimate Comics Ultimates. I think they describe more of Ultimate X and more of Nick Fury in that series. So if you want to see more of um, Nick Fury and Ultimate uh, X team, I think you should go read that series. I think people who read that series probably would enjoy this uh, issue a little bit more. Since I don't read that series, because um, I'm not a big Nick Fury fan, uh, I just said, oh, I don't really like government um, issues because sometimes they could be boring. But after reading this issue, I kind of do want to pick up the series because it looks interesting. Always like the Ultimate X team since the mini series. It had really interesting characters. I didn't even know they were in that series. So uh, I think the continuation of um, the story is going to be very interesting with Karen betraying Nick Fury. Uh, it should be a good couple of issues in the Ultimate Universe wherever the story is going to be continued. But I think I, I thought it was a moderate issue. For the beginning of it, I was like, oh, where is this issue going? I like the Ultimate X, but uh, I don't know. But towards that end, when we get that cliffhanger, I'm like, all right, this is a pretty good issue. So I give it a three and a half since I, the only series I read for the Ultimate Comics universe is um, Ultimate X-Men and Ultimate Spider-Man. And I, I think if you read Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Comic Ultimates, you might enjoy this issue a little bit more. But since I only read those two series, I think um, I enjoyed it a little less. But uh, still a good issue, three and a half, even if you just read Ultimate Comics X-Men, I think you might be able to enjoy it, especially if you read the Ultimate X series. But um, I say uh, pick this issue up. I give it a three and a half. I hope you enjoyed. This was Comic Uno. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. In the description below, there'll be a link to that. You'll just have comic book news, uh, video reviews I'll be doing, and topic videos I'll be doing. And also, don't forget to follow my other channel for my other YouTube channel um, on Twitter. I uh, just have video news for that and for that channel. And I hope you enjoyed. I say pick this up. I give it a three and a half. And if you're an Ultimate Comics fan, I think you should pick this issue up. And this was Kamakuno. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.